In the pre-dawn silence of the Namib Desert, a sea of stars wheels overhead, so bright and numerous they cast shadows on the ancient dunes. Each mammoth dune rises like a wave frozen in time, their knife-edge ridges cutting bold lines against the starlit sky. This isn't just a landscape, it's Earth's most extreme computing laboratory, where the laws of physics themselves become visible through patterns in sand and stone. The first hint of dawn ignites the dunes in shades of gold and amber. These massive waves of sand, some towering over 300 meters high, hold within their forms the solutions to equations that would overwhelm our most powerful supercomputers. Every ripple, every curve represents the desert's real-time computation of complex fluid dynamics problems that our best aerospace engineers are still trying to fully understand. As the sun breaches the horizon, a mysterious transformation begins. Great banks of fog roll in from the Atlantic like a liquid glacier, spilling between the dunes in slow motion. The moisture-laden air curls and flows around the dune bases, creating ethereal vortices that dance in the strengthening light. Within this mystical display, nature reveals one of its most sophisticated algorithms, the optimization of water harvesting in an environment where every drop counts. Watch closely as the fog thickens. On the backs of small beetles emerging from the sand, an extraordinary computation unfolds. Their carapaces, dotted with precisely engineered microscopic bumps and channels, begin to collect water from the air with an efficiency that makes our best moisture harvesting technology look primitive. Each bump is a carefully calculated structure, its size and spacing optimized through millions of years of evolution to capture water molecules from the air. The sun climbs higher, and the desert begins its daily thermal computation. Heat waves rise from the sand in twisting columns, bending light into living mirages. These aren't just beautiful distortions, they're visible manifestations of the Navier-Stokes equations being solved in real time by the atmosphere itself. The desert has become a vast computer, processing complex thermodynamic calculations across its entire expanse. Beneath the surface, an even more remarkable computation is taking place. Desert plant roots execute search algorithms that would impress any software engineer. When a rare drop of water penetrates the sand, roots detect its presence and compute the most efficient three-dimensional path to reach it, solving complex pathfinding problems with minimal energy expenditure. It's like watching a living version of our most sophisticated resource discovery algorithms. By midday, the desert's computational power reaches its peak. Silver ants emerge, but only when surface temperatures hit precisely 53.6 degrees Celsius, a threshold detection system more accurate than many of our electronic sensors. These tiny insects navigate by integrating multiple data streams, polarized light patterns, wind direction, surface temperature, and celestial cues. In their minute brains, they solve complex spherical trigonometry problems that would challenge our best autonomous navigation systems. A dust devil spins into existence, its twisting form a perfect expression of fluid dynamics equations in three dimensions. The vortex of sand and air dances across the desert floor, leaving intricate spiral patterns in its wake. These aren't just beautiful formations, they're the desert's solutions to complex optimization problems involving particle dynamics, air pressure, and thermal gradients. As afternoon heat builds, the desert reveals its mastery of adaptive computing. Plants and animals run sophisticated thermodynamic calculations, adjusting their metabolism and morphology in real time. Desert plants perform complex risk analysis, computing whether to open their flowers based on temperature, humidity, and wind speed. It's predictive modeling at its finest, refined by millions of years of evolution. The approach of sunset triggers another layer of desert algorithms. As the sun descends, shadows race across the dunes like waves of darkness, revealing patterns within patterns, fractals at every scale. The dying light ignites the atmosphere, painting the sky in impossible shades of orange and purple. This dramatic display is more than just beautiful, it's the visible output of countless atmospheric calculations involving light scattering, particle distribution, and wave optics. In the deepening twilight, the desert shifts to its nocturnal processing mode. Under ultraviolet light, scorpions emerge, their bodies glowing an ethereal blue-green. Their movements trace precise patterns across the sand, living algorithms optimizing for prey detection while minimizing exposure to predators. 
Above them, the star-filled sky becomes a natural database, accessed by countless species for navigation, timing, and seasonal calculations. The cold desert night brings new computational challenges. Plants and animals that were dormant during the day begin complex chemical calculations, determining how to allocate precious water and energy reserves. The clear night air allows heat to radiate rapidly into space, creating temperature gradients that drive new patterns of airflow and sand movement. The desert continues its computational work, now in a different thermal regime. In the hours before dawn, fog returns to paint algorithms in light and shadow. Strands of mist curl and dance in the starlight, solving fluid dynamics equations with ghostly grace. The first hints of approaching dawn turn the fog banks into rivers of gold, setting the stage for another iteration of the desert's endless computation. But perhaps the most profound calculation happens on a longer timescale. Every organism here is part of a vast evolutionary algorithm that continuously optimizes for survival in one of Earth's most challenging environments. Each adaptation, each behavior, each pattern represents a tested and proven solution to problems of existence that would challenge our most sophisticated artificial intelligence systems. As the stars fade and another day begins, we're left with a humbling realization. This harsh landscape isn't just a desert, it's one of nature's most sophisticated computers, processing data through sand and wind, through living tissue and complex chemistry. Every grain of sand, every living thing, every pattern in the dunes is part of a vast calculation that never stops, never crashes, and runs entirely on solar power. The desert reminds us that computation isn't just something we invented with silicon and electricity. It's a fundamental property of the physical world, expressed here in its most elegant and extreme forms. As we build our own computers and struggle with problems of efficiency and reliability, perhaps we should look more closely at how nature performs its calculations, here in the desert, where mathematics becomes visible in every grain of sand. Next time on Digital Wilderness, we ascend to Earth's highest peaks, where ancient stone processes data through crystalline matrices, and the atmosphere itself becomes nature's most ambitious computer.